Sweet treats are as much a part of the holiday season as gifts, homecomings, and music. Candy lovers have been flocking to the Jelly Belly Candy Company in Pleasant Prairie for decades. Earlier this year, though, it was feared this Kenosha County landmark would be shutting its doors for good. But as Michael Schlesinger recently found out, it's business as usual. Small product, the big flavor. Jelly Belly Vice Chairman Bill Kelly has been around this sugary treat for 50 years now. It's in his blood and runs in his family. His great-grandfather started the company in the 1800s, and it's been years of sweet success ever since. The center of old-fashioned jelly beans was clear. So you, could, you only put the flavor on the outside. Once we, once we decided to put the flavor on the inside of the jelly bean and on the outside, we could reduce the size, and you'd still get flavor impact with a little product instead of filling your mouth with a lot of chewy gel. I love it. It's super fun and all the fun flavors are delicious. Is there one that you like? Um, I like the A&W, like the cream soda and the orange and all those pop flavors. Very, very hot lately is our Bean Boozled, where you don't know whether it's a, a good flavor or a nasty flavor. Well, that's a Harry Potter thing, isn't it's it? A, it's a spin-off from Harry Potter. At the Jelly Belly store in Pleasant Prairie, there's too much candy to count. Millions and millions and millions. There are four, about 400 beans in a pound. So you can, you can do the math from there. We have thousands and thousands of pounds of candy. Do you ever feel like you're at Willy Wonka's? Yeah, well, we, we, we like Willy Wonka, and we, uh, we, we have a little bit of that in our blood, yeah. Where's the golden ticket? That's the Yeah, question. right. <laughs> this way, Grandpa. It wasn't too long ago there was fear the business would no longer be in existence, at least in southeastern Wisconsin. We made that announcement. It was um, maybe sort of a knee-jerk announcement. We hadn't, we hadn't really thought it through properly, and we did get, we had a, a crowds in here because they thought we were going to close. We're not closing. We're going to be here. Everything will be here. The shop and the train ride. But one of the distribution centers did relocate to Memphis, Tennessee. However, the everyday customer would never know what's missing. The only kind of jelly beans I eat, um, just the flavors are more fun and taste better. And for those who do pay a stop to this Kenosha County facility, you'll notice your fair share of merchandising, especially for the holidays. We know how to merchandise. Something new for the holidays we should mention. Look at these flavors here. Eggnog, candy cane, pumpkin pie, cranberry sauce, hot chocolate. I think you got it all covered here. Bill, and other things too, rainbow of emotion mix, and we cannot forget about Star Wars. So huge, opening December 18th, Darth Vader galore. Right, we have uh, many, many Star Wars uh, properties and, and tins and boxes and, and of course the uh, uh, bean machine, Star Wars bean machine. And talk about your Disney license. Uh, we license all the Disney properties. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, Mickey Mouse, we have Frozen, uh, we have it all, and, and it's been very, very successful. Of course, the longevity of this product and its consistency both sell themselves, and this is plenty for a lot of sweet tooths. You'll never stop eating. Never, never. <laughs>